I do see the art uh, being the best ambassador to convey the message. Rwanda is known as the land of a thousand hills. Over the years, Rwanda has prided itself in efforts to conserve and protect the environment. Conservation efforts have for a long time focused on what could be argued to be the country's most prized possessions, the mountain gorillas. Ubukorikori no murimo cyangwa si no umwuga uyu munsi urimo gukorwa nabantu bahoze ari barushimusi muri parike nationale y'ibirunga we create public art in Rwanda with the goal of sharing art with more people inspiring the next generation of creatives and really adding more color across communities. I began working with um, different artists who are already the people that have a message to share through their art to try to engage other people through the platform of art making to talk about different types of social issues. So in the beginning, the idea of a, a name being Kurema Kureba Kuiga, which is to create, to see, to learn, the idea was that we will create artwork that other people will see from which they can learn something. Over the past few years, we've done a range of projects. Uh, most of them have a social activism purpose, um, ranging from subject matter, like I said, about fighting HIV-related stigma to promoting girls' education to encouraging people to keep their place clean. So we try to be responsive to local interests and subjects that are relevant to the people that we're working with and the communities that we're working in. So when a painting is outside on the side of a building, there, it means that anyone can see it. Anyone who chooses to pass by can access that piece of artwork. So I've been a fan of Roa's artwork for many years. I had seen his paintings in cities across the world. Uh, and when the opportunity arose for a collaboration or a partnership that would bring him to Rwanda, it was very exciting because I really respect his artwork and his message and his concept to the work that he creates, which is all about how uh, humans impact the environment and thus the, the lives of animals. So in the case of Rwanda, where there's been so much work and uh, many different efforts made toward conservation, um, it was a really interesting opportunity to focus on how creativity can impact conservation efforts. Because his artwork is so large scale and so detailed and impressive, my goal from the beginning of the project was to inspire and reach as many people as possible. So we wanted to do that by working both with the government and with the private sector and with young people and with artists. And essentially we tried to create different aspects of the project in many different places. To understand the range of positive contributions of creativity to conservation efforts, we also looked at the works of Rwandan artists and educators. I do my artwork, the painting, which it's a mixed media. I pick glittered fabrics called Kitenge and we recycle them to make the artwork out of it. I just pick the littered fabrics on the street. I have 18 women I work with. Their job is picking littered materials on the street and then we give them the second chance and we use them on our painting. What people think it's a scrap, for us it's a treasure in the way of conserving our environment and, and earning a living. Art, first of all, is a great tool we really value for our project uh, because art is a way of spreading a message to the community. And also, when a child is in participating in our program, a child may be like quiet. A child doesn't want to talk a lot. 
But when you say, okay, we've been learning about mountain gorillas and now, and draw a picture of how inside of mountain gorillas habitat look like. Kids will produce pictures that you can never imagine. Then that will tell you yourself who are working with kids each day, that will tell you that kids have taken something from the program. And also, when we display their art lessons, maybe at school, kids can really draw a meaningful picture. Sometimes it's not a perfect picture, but it has a message. Um, uh, art, photography, these are the really beautiful tools that can be used in the conservation and uh, they are so much powerful. I remember when we went to one of the wetlands and we took a banner with uh, a photo we've taken from that area of grass flying and you know what, people, we realize how people they say, wow, that's beautiful, it's hang on, we know that place, that's, yeah, they start talking, talking, wow, do we have this? So it's, it's kind of ways, uh, like photos, art, like it's really a very, a uh, nice tool that we people should think of. With only one piece of art, you can inspire the whole country. So get them out, like just put them at, yeah, yeah, like at the scene where so many people can see it and then you'll be contributing. Just an image talks like it by itself. Inspired by the natural treasures of Rwanda and the country's remarkable efforts to conserve, protect and educate the community, Roa elected to create works reflecting some of the country's most special creatures. The black rhinos of Akajera National Park, the regal sunbird, which is one of the 27 endemic bird species found in the Nyungwe Forest National Park. And we cannot forget the mountain gorilla residing in Volcanoes National Park, where the three pieces of artwork are permanently installed to inspire visitors. After we worked up north in Kenigi, we came back to Kigali where we hope to reach an even bigger audience by creating a large scale piece in the center of the city at the Okapi Hotel, which is very close to the downtown area. Such a fascinating and incredible animal that's very unique and it's endemic only to this area of the world. Um, and is a very special, beautiful creature. The hope with the work was that we could create these animals that might force people to ask questions and say, what is this animal and why is it here? And I've never seen this, what is it? Is this a cousin of that animal or not? And um, it was definitely interesting because people came to us asking all kinds of questions while the work was happening and also once the work was finished. Um, and that's really the goal. So the idea being to create something that people can see and learn from. And uh, part of that creation is the act of engaging in conversations and dialogue, um, sharing the process with other people, documenting that work, and making sure that it reaches as broad an audience as possible. By this very expressive art, which looks almost sort of a picture, yet it's not a picture, I was impressed by what he has done, and, but I'm even impressed more by what he, what he has done for us. Mubat kwaje dukora na nabo nabo bakora ibintu byiza ariko uyu nguyuwe ararenza afite ubumenyi mu mwugaho kuko abandi babanza gushiraho gupima uwe igipimo cyane na maboko mu muhanga cyane no umugabo ukore cyaze kandi ubugero ruraboneka urabona yuko iri ya nyamaswa yashanjije ari nyamaswa itafite amakemwa nta kwibesha kuri mu cyane nk'izi nyamaswa rabona ka inyamaswa iboneka ahantu hake twebwe tumeze nkaho tuyore tuyifite ibi ngibi nibi nibintu nyaburanga n'abanyamahanga baza kureberaho kuko aba babikoze n'abahanga cyane ahubwo ni 
nahantu abantu bashobora no kuza kuyivisita bakayisura nkuko basura za nyungwe nkuko bajya mu kagera nkuko bajya nahandi hantu ari ibintu nyaburanga nahano ntago hahasiga ndumva n'abanyarwanda nashishikariza abanyarwanda kuza kuyisura We hope this project has social impact and encourages more people to use their creativity to support and expand conservation efforts in Rwanda. Mm -hmm.